do you want to enter the dark web well of course you do so today we'll be diving deep into the dark web fundamentals we'll be going through theory fundamentals and much more fun stuff if you are an ethical hacker or you are wanting to become an ethical hacker browsing safely and covering your tracks is the first thing that you should know so stay put till the end of the video and i assure you you will have a very good knowledge of the dark web just don't use the knowledge that you gain in this video to harm anyone else or use it with ill intent so let's get hacking so for accessing the dark web we'll be using the tor browser we'll be also using a vpn to make our connection more secure now the tor browser works on an onion routing principle now i'll be explaining that onion routing principle to you now let's say the user wants to search for facebook.com so in networking or in hacking this is called a packet so let's say the user wants to send a packet to the server of facebook.com so if i want to talk to facebook.com i will have to go to its server and i will have to give it a request for it to talk to me so when in case of normal browsers how this works is that there is a user here and there is the server here and the user sends a request to the server and the, this request can be seen by our web browser itself and many trackers that we knowingly or unknowingly have put but in the case of tor this works in a different principle so let's say we have a user here and we have got five nodes here these nodes will take the information one by one from the user so let's say the user sends the information to this guy then to this guy then to that then here then here and then here so this information I, if you see the pattern of this information this will be not encrypted when it is going through this traffic but when it reaches the end server where it, where it has to reach it will be encrypted so let's say i am the user and i have to send a data to instagram so i'll send a packet to the first node the first node will be sending a packet to the second to the then to the third and then so on and when the packet reaches the last node it will be encrypted and it will be sent to the server then same thing goes on reverse the server will send a packet to the last node then the second last and the third last and so on till it reaches me so this is the basic principle of which this video will be working and of which tor works now we'll be getting into some of the practical and some of the more fun stuff of tor so let's get started to start with i want you to open a random browser which have the default browser you have and type tor and by the way tor stands for the onion router if you don't know so you click on the first link that is of tor and you go down and you go and download the tor browser oh they took out one for android also so when i checked it it was just for the three ma uh, most common operating systems but now they have already taken it out for android so that's good so whichever operating system you are on and i recommend you to be on a linux operating system because most of these hacking things are done on either tails or kali or parrot or ubuntu or some of these linux based operating systems but if you are not on these operating systems like my operating system the mac that i had the operating system on is currently in the shop it is getting repaired so that's why i'm using this this mac that i currently have and so i'll be downloading it from mac os and whichever operating system you are on whichever operating system you feel comfortable with you can download tor with that operating system so now you have to just download mac os so i have already done that and if you go in my finder right here and you go in my downloads you'll find the tor browser right here so you can quit that and as you can see i have tor right here i have it installed so if you open up tor this is a page that you will get and you if you go and configure connection so this is the page that you will get if you open up tor so basically as i told you tor will connect dots by dots as your router to your router and then it will connect to another router then to another router and then it will roam around the world taking these routers as nodes and then it will reach the server and so on 
so if we connect to tor as you can see it is run by thousands of volunteers around the world so basically people volunteer and they are they are getting paid by tor to use up their bandwidth and to become a node from which the traffic is passing through so if i open up a new page i'll show you one thing that tells tor that this is not my machine and the people in tor cannot track me so let's go on google here you type my ip it took absolutely less than a second to get my ip address out if you want to see again you type my ip and it took less than a second but if you go on tor and you type my ip it's basically a same browser from your perspective right now but now you will see the magic of tor on how it protects my privacy and also tor takes a lot of time to load up every single connection so i don't recommend this to be your default browser but you can obviously use this as a browser when you're doing these ethical hacking kind of things where you are not supposed to be tracked by anyone so here as you can see it is written your ip address is unavailable if you go right here and you change the tor circuit for this side so let's say it had five nodes now it will go to some other five nodes or it will change one two nodes in between so that you get a new connection a new tor connection to the server that you are trying to access so as you can see right now it thinks you are in germany i am sitting in india right now but it thinks i am in germany because my last ip my last node that is giving the connection to the server it is in germany let's let me get a new circuit so eventually it will show me some ip and it will sometimes get it to me in another language also because let's say that the last node is in france or in russia so basically it will give me uh, french or russian as its language so right now if i keep refreshing i'll get some you know very weird very strange looking web web pages and tor also gives you an option to choose if you go in germany you can choose any country you want so let's do one thing let's go on let's choose a strange country like let's see let's choose spain let's choose spain if you choose spain and you close this so it is basically routing all my traffic from spain tor is giving me a, a an advantage that is not showing me in that language but in the previous versions of tor if uh, if you are using tor for for a long time if in the previous versions of tor you could have seen that tor is actually displaying the websites in the country's native language that is an inaccessible to the user but that shows that tor actually routes every single part of your traffic and still our ip address is unavailable and as, as as you can see in google my ip less than a second so this is the this is the difference between our normal day browsers and the tor browser and how it protects our privacy i explained the principle that it works on that is the onion routing principle that is what tor is named after the onion routing the onion router tor so i hope you enjoyed this video so if you did please don't forget to smash that like button subscribe do all that youtube stuff and i'll catch you guys next time